And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. <laughs> hey! Yeah. That must mean it's The Bonfire Hello. on Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm your host, Big J. Okerson. That's your host, Dan Soder. Hi. What's up, buddy? I liked your... Um you're, that's like drunken man stumbling home version of Maynard. <laughs> 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 so that sounds like him. That sounds like him, right? Sound like a shitty Bob. Wait, 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 wait! I could do him. I could do him. <laughs> no, it sounds like a bad Bob Dylan. <laughs> I did some musical theater back when I was junior high. <laughs> <laughs> I was a tenor. <laughs> it is the bonfire. We are live, live, live. live. new and live. You are getting our thoughts the second we think them. Which might not be a good thing, but might it hopefully will be funny. Hey, look, funny or a race ride starts. Either way, right? <laughs> Gather arms. <laughs> Aryan <It's time>. warriors. <laughs> the time has come. Get all of your sh- cut-off tank tops ready. I'm in this so short is not a drill. Oh, man, I'd be so bad in that. And with the race war? Yeah, I'd be so bad. Why? I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'd pick up arms. <laughs> if it all went down? I, yeah. Look, if look, if we could stop race war from ever happening, I, God only knows, I hope that's what happens, so <laughs> never, that it never goes down. I didn't think you were a proponent of pushing it to, it, to its end. <laughs> I'm not racist. I am pro-race war, yeah. though. Uh, Jay, not a racist bone in his body. He does, however, look forward to the day where blacks, whites, Latinos, <laughs> Asians, and everyone will clash on the battlefield. I'm sharpening my stakes, because I believe the blacks can only be killed like vampires. <laughs> Hey, you guys ever talk to Jay about race relations? <laughs> it's a little mythological I'll be at honest, the end. If you do a radio show with him, I'd still clear the conversation. Dude, I mean, talk about open buttholes all you want to. You bring up race wars, it's going to get funky. It's going to get real Open weird. buttholes is one of my three uh, topics that I think I really am worldly on. I would think, like, if the, if there was a, if you were a specialist, if they're like, what you know how, like, in action movies where they're like, he's explosives or he's guns, you'd be open buttholes. <laughs> he knows open buttholes. <laughs> he's got a, yeah. ooh. Oh. oh, there was something behind that one. Maybe it's a preview to the episode we're doing on Wednesday, which is new and not live, which we just recorded. Are we only doing one live read today, Jacob? It's very exciting. We got two live reads, Jacob? What? I like that. We get to split them up and then see who does good live reads. Do, we, go do t- we get the stuff we're doing live reads for? Today? Sheets. It's what? You got sheets. Sheets? He got he... Sheets. Oh. <laughs> I'm working on you. Can I get a duvet cover or something? Fucking throw it. Maybe a duvet? Oh, dude. If you could give me a duvet, Jacob, I'm not going to lie. I'll toss you, HJ. Let's, today when we do our live reads, let's both do them as radio guy as possible. Okay. I'm going to do a very radio guy. Very radio guy. Old announcer type. Okay. Can I do... Like, we're going to be throwing it back to Little Orphan Annie after Can, that. That's th- Okay. That's what I was just going to say. Like, War of the Worlds shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is not a drill. <laughs> I know what I like my sheets. <laughs> it's on an old tiny bed. <laughs> my wife sleeps in another bed because her vagina's filled with the devil. Sometimes the thunder and lightning's outside. Crap. <laughs> 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 Shaking a hand saw. Oh. <laughs> ah, God knows falls here with all those trees shaking in your yard, and nothing makes you warmer than some nice Bowen Birch sheets. <laughs> Bowen Branch. Oh, that's, fuck. That's I ain't why sleeping on them. That's why you're sheetless right now. Yo, I ain't sleeping on them. I got Egyptian <laughs> cotton. You understand? I'm walking into the bed, bath, and beyond, <sighs> being like I'm a former employee. Sweet, sweet, silky feel of some Bowen branches. Do you, dude, you roll around naked in them? Oh, my God. God, do I? You bone up? Oh, I really do. They're yeah, almost ma- they're almost made to make you bone up. I did that last night in my basketball shorts, and I thought of you not while I was boning up, but I thought of you as I put on the uniform to bone up. But then when you boned up, you did think of me again. Ah, uh, on the way down. Not a sexual on the way. Way. On Your the way denial down. of this feels like no, because you're you step- put it. You made it sexual. No, you're making it weird. I was saying I boned up. And then on the way down from the bone up, mm-hmm. I thought of you. All right, dude, you got hard to me. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in my room going, ah, just listening to old episodes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit, man. Yeah. Jay's quick on that oh, one. Oh, Jay's wit. Oh, Jay's wit. I love how much people are loving our, uh, our Who's the Boss <laughs> breakdown. Uh, Tony Danzer? Tony Danzer. Uh, we have to get him on the show, huh? Uh, I don't think he'd be cool about it, though, right? That's what'll be so funny about it. I mean, but who the f- we're who supposed the to have asking, a, who the fuck's asking Tony Danzig to come on the radio show? He should be thrilled. Yeah, we're supposed to have a uh, guest come on at seven. 
tonight. I hope he does, because we have a fun topic for that. Oh, what a great story. Jacob making a thing to block <laughs> the fucking submarine alarm. All it does is really show it in a much more... Now I think there's going to be a fire in the room. Yeah. It really looks... When, when much... a phone call comes in, there's like a... For some reason, a, a fucking alarm light goes off. Yeah, and that's what it looks like. Like a submarine about to dive. It's the beginning of War Pigs dive, at a Black Sabbath concert. Dive! 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 It's Coast Guard fodder. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now we put... Uh, Jacob put a white envelope over it, which I guess in hindsight we all should realize probably wasn't the best idea for it. Jacob, listen, I just want to say this, and, and our the campers will hear you take a pretty good amount of abuse on Wednesday's episode <laughs> for uh, for giving Jay Kendrick Lamar tickets and then taking them away, which we... Of it course, was a flat-out Indian give. <laughs> I prefer if you didn't use that word. Sorry, engine give. Hey, dude, <laughs> those people were here and we took their land. <laughs> Is that how you see it? That's exactly how I see it. For that All is right. how the ego has told me the story goes. You, you are going to have a hard time in this race war. <laughs> For I will channel the great gods. What's the... What are you playing? I don't know. <laughs> Lou, are you drunk? War Pigs. You were playing War Pigs by Iron Maiden? Yeah, I thought it might work, but that you know, didn't sound like War Pigs at all. In retrospect, it yeah, that sounded really like the work. Um, when they do the Dolby surround yeah, sound. Yeah, was that walking through a haunted house? Oh. Were tiny red dots teaching me about getting my snacks and not using my phone before watching a movie? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I want to wait on that one. Yeah? Because once we get in... Once we get in this subject, I know. I it might take us the whole show. The way in. I don't think... It, here's the thing. Our guess I think is, we're going to get weirdly more calls about this than we think. So here's what we're going to... we got a buddy coming in, a fellow comedian, who says he banged his friend's mom. Has this been confirmed? Is he coming? I don't know. I'm waiting to hear about we it. We think. We think. He's supposed to come in today. I don't know. He's a very busy man. He's got a lot of irons in the fire. Says that he banged... His friend's mom. Yeah, when he was 17. Wow, man. So we, and then I we really got some calls that are coming in. in about that. Here's where I want to feel. Well, we just teased a, this. We did yeah. tease this. That's why people want to hear it. And we will come back to the topic later in the show. The one I want to throw out there to hopefully get on the phone is, I'm interested to see if like an 18-year-old chick has banged her friend's dad. Oh, man. Because you be hear a, a lot. Admission. You hear a lot about guys banging their friends' moms, but not a lot about... Do you hear it a lot? You don't hear it a lot. I think that's what you hear mostly if that's going to happen. If I think go you're going to hear... It does seem weird if it goes down a lot of times. It does seem like the the dude... Went, all those teacher things. And I guess, obviously, you know... Yeah. you know, Every joke's been made about that. Like. But not even a joke. It's just like for some reason it always is a young boy and a... And a and a chick, like it's always every, is. And not this isn't talked about, but every one of those guys, when they show their picture, they have that like I could fuck the teacher confidence. It just it comes across in their face, in the mug shot, yeah, or does, in their yeah. school. When I, I know they're not usually allowed to show the kids, but the ones where they're like <laughs> eighteen now and they show their pictures because they're adults. It's always like they got like a smirk, like they have told you I could face. <laughs> yes. Told you I could. <laughs> they got smell my fingers and now do my homework face. <laughs> hey, you smell that? That's hey. your mom's bra. Ah, bro, oh, that's where bra. you used to live. That's your mom's bra. That's your old place, bra. <laughs> you don't recognize the smell of your own place. That was when you were being formed as a human being. <laughs> uh oh, we're entering Brad voice. Oh, I don't want to do that. Nobody does. Um. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know. I never felt like when I was a kid that I could have fucked some like significantly older no chick. Way. Although I did lose my virginity to a girl who was like f fucking five years older than me, which is huge at the time when you were a teenager. But I'm saying, but I realize also that a 22 year old girl is not an adult still, <laughs> even though they are on paper. Yeah, they're not like, um, yeah, they don't have lives like adult lives. Yeah, they're just like so uh, they can, so they can make that fuck up. But I'm t we're talking about more like like 40 something year olds, late 30s. Yeah, fucking like 16 year old boys. women. It's crazy. Yeah. And our guest is going to have a story like that. Yes. Our guest, and he says it happened when he's our age, so it went down before, you know, before, <laughs> before it was cool, before it was all these hot teachers were banging their male students. And they are generally, we always say they're hot. They're really, they're hot for the action. Does that make sense for what's going on? What they do makes them hotter. Oh. Yeah. Good fucking tune for that. Oh. We got some. You I mean, want to jump into this, don't you? Just because no, we don't have to, but I just like. I mean, I, I mean, listen. look at the, I mean, these these calls are fantastic. These yeah, stories. I would have. This is a topic I would have never thought to say when you brought it up on the thing. 
and I think I may have spoke uh, wrong as I asked Kurt about it today. I thought he had a similar story, not of himself, yeah, but like you know something in the neighborhood. That, that becomes like a fucking neighborhood story, and I don't. It know, becomes legend. It's crazy that an adult wouldn't have the foresight to see that, like going haywire. Knowing me, like I a fucking t- I, 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 uh, aside, take the legality out of it. Or actually, we'll just make it an 18-year-old. Well, we'll make it all 18. This is all legal stuff. Let's all make it right 18. Right down the... Yeah. Um, Senior year of high school. You just, like, if, if I was, like... If I was even, like, fucked behind my chick's back or something, uh, you fucking 18-year-old, you're like, that's coming out. And God yeah. forbid I, I ever get more, like, widely well-known. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely going to come out. My whole thought behind this whole thing is just I know how quick I would come. If, like, a hot older woman just touched my dick at 18, I'd be like, it's, I'm, I'm a leak and I'm, I'm dead. Oh, a hot older boy? Yeah, but I just feel I, that but confident but I never had a thing for a teacher. I loved that. Dude, I told you I used to jerk off to that lady that worked at Circle, Circle K, K. But I never had good looking teachers. Ever. No, but even the stock lady at uh, fucking Payless or. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah I couldn't. You. The stock girl pay less. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like a I had to process that. <laughs> there was a lady that worked. It was actually, actually called an Osco Drugs. She worked at the drugstore. She was like this hot. That's where you bought your Bobos? Uh, yeah. <laughs> your yeah. Bobo sneakers? That's where I bought all my fucking cheap ass sneakers. But she, uh, yeah, I used to like, that's who I would jerk off to. I, I guess, like, They were like real women. DeRosa, our buddy Joe DeRosa has yeah. like a thing for like older looking chicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess not really anymore, but in my early 20s, it was like a thing. Like, yeah. I liked it. I, I don't dislike a nice MILF today. But that's that's a very muddy term now because of What's all the... MILF to me? Yeah, because someone, someone might call a 39-year-old a MILF. Someone would call like, a 28-year-old a MILF. Come on. That's just lawlessness. What fucking piece of garbage would say that? You fucking wash your mouth out with <laughs> lava soap, <laughs> piece of fucking dirt. <laughs> you wash your mouth out with borax, because that's what an old lady would make you do. I mean, dude, I want to jump into these callers, because obviously we're going to hear some stories that are crazy, but I feel like, as our, as the legendary actor Antonio Banderas would say, no. N- not, not yet. yet. <laughs> because I want Chris, I mean, he hasn't te- love it. and he hasn't texted me back, so I'm wondering where the I fuck he's a, at. I banged an old, old chick. Older, I guess, probably definitely in her fifties, like back in uh, in Houston, Texas, like, yeah. like years ago. Dude, I had years a... ago. So I was younger, and she was definitely in her like early fifties. At, <gasps> at, at, and uh, but it was very like soft. It was just whatever. Yeah, I. It's very it was whatever. whatever. It did. It smelled like lady yes. in the room. Like it was. I don't Val- know. It just didn't do it for me. I didn't get into it. That Valentine's much. Day f- five years ago. I did a show at <laughs> Valentine's Day. Such a great day. I got Find some sad old bag and banged her. I was, either go home to her cats or go fuck a stranger. I, had to, I banged her on the fucking uh, the pull-out couch. <laughs> were you giving like, Were you giving one loves to your dad the whole time? Yeah, Gary, Gary, look what I'm doing on the pull-out couch. I'm doing this for you, Daddy. Now I'm naked on the couch. Now I'm putting that dick down the way you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, the Soder man's dick is lives on. This is our spirit challenge in the Soder family. <laughs> you got to fuck on a couch bed. You got to fuck naked on a couch bed. I don't think I ever fucked on a couch bed in my life. I definitely did that night. Is that, that the only one? That was the at night. her place. Yeah, dude, and that was the one where I had sex with her. I was like, no, like I was like, I gotta quit drinking. Oh, dude, it was bad. I was with DeRosa, and DeRosa was like, she was awful looking. Uh, no, not awful looking, but like she had big fake boobs, and they were like bad kind. How old was she? Late forties. That's not terribly old. But she had lived, my friend. Oh, it was a hard forty. <laughs> yeah, it was a fucking. It was a yeah, a sober sixty-five. Wow. Yeah, it was fucking rough. Jesus. Yeah, you're like, hey, lady, what was Keith Richards like when he was a chuck? Was her face just like lined up oh, real bad? Dude, yeah, like she's like, come she on smoke? in. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, we get. We, I, that was actually my favorite part of the whole evening. I got to smoke inside. I was like, so, what do you think's going on overseas with our boys? Don't sit too heavy on those chairs. They were my great grandma Mars. <laughs> so you at Caroline's now? <laughs> when were you born? Ah, the first Reagan administration. I was already a mother by then. Could you hand me my tobacco and rolling papers? Mm. Do you like that I'm showing you a little bit of ankle? I could go for a gin fizz right now. 
These gams once turned Count Basie on. <laughs> you know, Joe DiMaggio grabbed my tushy one time. I looked over, I said, sorry, slugger. I'm already taken. You're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> why don't we get I'm you... a Red Sox fan. <laughs> Why don't, you, why don't we get you out of those stuffy Levi's? <laughs> Show me what you're working with there, Junior. Saw you on stage. What do you say we stop wasting time and you drop those dungarees? Ah, I'm going to lay back, <laughs> put on my whoopee pillar. <laughs> I'm going to put on my house gown. <laughs> I'll be right out. I think I may have told you this before on the show. I hope not, but I... The first time I ever went to L.A., I went home with a chick who, like, just pulled out, like... Uh, she just like I wasn't even going home with the chick. It was like a bunch of people went back to this girl's house, but she was definitely throwing it at me. Okay, and she uh, like she came out. She goes, she literally did. I'm gonna go slip something more comfortable, and came out like in a fucking like she was like oh, obese. Like okay. I, I wasn't interested in hooking up with her. It was just like, but she did that. She yeah. did the old time. I went into something more comfortable and came out like in a fucking like a moo moo. It was oh. horrible. I'm she's like, was like, this to like turn me on? I didn't want. She's work. like, no, this is a hospital gown. This is what I sleep in. <laughs> it's the most comfortable thing in the world. <laughs> I got full butt breeze the entire time. You can throw it in if you want to. I'm gonna lay on my side like a sick whale. <laughs> <laughs> like a sick. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah, that's like always. That's like the most hacky thing in the world. Where it's like, you want me to go put on something comfortable? <laughs> Let me go. Slipping into something a little more comfortable. I would actually appreciate. I would also not feel more comfortable myself if I went and like put on like silk pajamas. Like, oh, that's making more comfortable. Oh, uh, dude, I would love to. If would you on, really? Yeah, I'd love to put on like. If you promise me, yeah, I mean this. Okay. If you promise me, when you bring girls back for the first time, like first time banging, yeah. If this is before you find a girlfriend, okay. In any way, um, if you'll put on silk pajamas every the first time and go, let me. If you go back to your place and you'll slip on silk pajamas before you fuck, yeah, I'll buy you silk pajamas for Hanukkah. Done. Okay. Done. All right. Happy Hanukkah to me. Happy motherfucking Hanukkah. <laughs> Light the menorah. Because <laughs> I want to get you something else for Christmas, but that'll be your Hanukkah present. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have. Such I good... come from uh, two, you know. And you know what? I'm, I'm a Christian kid that's always wanted to be Jewish, so I'm yeah. right there. You're gonna get a Hanukkah present. Oh, dude, I've been waiting. Slippers. One day. I've been waiting. <laughs> For a Jew like you, come into my life. I've been waiting, waiting <laughs> someone to. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I'd prefer honesty. Like if a woman was just like, "Hey, I'm gonna go jam my tits together and some fucking thing you're gonna tear off." But when you just be like, "Don't just get out naked right here." My ex used coldly to make, and uncomfortable. My ex would put on lingerie, but she was so bad at like uh, it would be like a shitty superhero. Oh, you know, right. a superhero's like, "I gotta go on the other." Like they're they're uh, fake. You know, obviously, the, when they're not a superhero, they're a like, fake identity. Yeah. <laughs> like that. She was, like, really bad at being like, oh, no, there's a noise in the other room. And then you just, like, hear, like, her suitcase open in the bathroom. And you're like, hey, are you, are you putting on lingerie? She's like, I'll be right out. Just taking a phone call. And then she comes out, and she's like, hey, stranger. And you're like, I knew you were going to do that. Uh, she's like a shitty Superman. Is there, is there a phone booth? And then do you guys think fishnets are still in? You know, uh, Carla made me... Wait a while before we hooked up. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, she put on lingerie the first time, and I felt Ooh. so shitty because I was just like, "Well, all I got to do is like dumb old dick, I guess." Oh, dude, yeah, my you got, pants and my dumb old dick. You got to hope you're wearing like a like your tightest pair of boxer <laughs> briefs because then it makes you look more confident. But uh, really, they're just old. Oh, no, they're not. Yeah, they've, they've, been, they've been wearing them all day, so the legs are oh, loose. Yeah, you don't want to <laughs> see what's in the butt part. It's so bad. It looks like a fucking. It's just like butt lint. Oh, oh she went all out. She's got all decked out. She looked great. And then I, I was, I was like, oh, um, I feel like an idiot. All you can do at that moment is try to bone up as much as possible. You know, it's a, a really funny story. We ended up actually that night. I, I'm, I'm wrong. We didn't hook up that night. Here's why. I was still living with my folks. This okay. is a fucking great story. This actually. is in Philly. This is great. I still living with my folks. Okay. South Jersey. Okay. And uh, she came back to my house for the weekend. We've been dating for a while at this point. How long is a while? Month, maybe? Okay. Yeah. And she came back, and it was like, you know, it was my parents. And when, you, when you're in that situation, in hindsight, how ridiculous that seems to bring your chick to stay at your 
in your room at your mom's house? Hey, we want to take this back all the way. The only luck I had was she lived in a room at her mom's house. All right, so that cancels. No, but she has lived on her own at that point before. But I was doing comedy. I had no money. No, you stop making explanations. It, it cancels out. She lived in a room with her mom. You lived in a room with your mom. Where else are you going to go? Right. You don't have any money. You can't get so, a hotel and bang she, it out. So I, but I told you know my mom and step pop and everything. I'm bringing. I'm like, hey. I'm bringing, you know, Carla home. Like, you guys are going to meet her. It's going to be great. And But we had planned. It seemed pretty clear that we were going to hook up that weekend for sure. Oh, man. Were you getting, like, so excited for it where you're like, this is going to be awesome? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a real buildup. I think, I think at one point I was like, hey, if I keep doing stuff to her and she doesn't do something to me, I'm going to split. <laughs> look, at, look at me in my eyes. I was complaining to friends at home. Yeah. Look at me in my eyes and tell me the honest truth of this next question. Huh? Were you getting so excited about it? Yeah. Then in the morning when you'd wake up, would you make out with your pillow pretending it was Carla? Ooh. Hey, Carla. Yeah. Oh, you're looking awfully fluffy today. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Sorry, is my breath bothering you? Uh, I'll go mouthwash. <laughs> Last night was terrific. <laughs> no, I never pillow humped. Never pillow humped a fake Carla. <laughs> no. I would do I use my Hulk Hogan, uh, the wrestling <laughs> buddies. Wrestling <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> you are wonderful too, brother. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> well, Tell you something, Jay. You dick me down in a way I could never understand. <laughs> and I know a lot of dudes that are taking it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you're taking it. Uh, by the way, yeah. by the way, Carla just texted me. She goes, "Great, another episode. Our daughter can't hear." <laughs> I kept telling her, I go, she could probably listen to Bonfire. We don't all get me and Dan's humor isn't really that dirty. <laughs> Not this one. It's rank. <laughs> and I'm talking about boning her mom. So uh, You're giving the prequel to her is, existence. Oh, Jesus. This is so we go uh it's hilarious. So we go uh to my house yeah. that night and she does all this, she puts in the lingerie. It's great. Did you guys put on music or was it just like So here's the thing. This is why <laughs> okay. this is why it didn't happen. <laughs> When she walk, this is what she's greeted by this oh, poor Carla when she walks in. My brother is shit, man. Eleven, okay, maybe, maybe a little bit. Old. No, no, no. Maybe he's thirteen. I think at the time, thirteen. But Bobby's little. My brother's a little guy. Yeah. So he always even looked younger. And he comes out and he's like, he's like, hey, are you Carla? You know, it's like nice to meet you or whatever. And he goes, <laughs> and he runs off and we go into my room. Me and Carla, she's everyone's fully dressed still. Yeah. My brother. Knew I was bringing my new girlfriend home, and he put PlayStation One. This is how far along it was. Was yeah. uh, he's got like a, my, like my I have a CD of like soft rock shit, and he's playing so it's like Boys to Men, Lionel Richie, and stuff like this. Like playing on the to the TV. Wait, so he cued that up, and I think lit candles and everything in my room. Like he set my room up. He, he fucked end up my room. Bobby basically became like tattoo from Fantasy Island. Yes, where he was your like guy. He, he facilitated. Yeah, <laughs> it was beautiful. So he set it up, and we went, and, my, and, and she put on the lingerie, and yeah, I went to the bathroom to give her a second to do her thing. And, and did I, you just sit on the toilet and look at your feet? Man, I came in the room. I came to look at my feet. I go, oh man, I'm getting ready to do this. Nothing going through me at all. By the way, of like, this is pretty weird, huh? It's, you know. In my mom's house, like in my bedroom, with my brother's bedroom, like adjacent, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Um, just getting in there. No one's even, by the way, poor Carl, I feel like she walked into some kind of weird, like, like really like a, like a fuck dungeon, like a family of weirdos, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think even my mom may have peeked out the door, uh, her bedroom door at one point. It's all this small she hallway. Run, your mom greets her. I think her my mom, mom was giving you know, like a head out the door because my mom's naked because they sleep naked. Oh, she's gonna be like a. She says, "Hey, Carla, Terry, it's nice to meet you." She's like, "Nice to meet you." She's like meeting everybody in the middle of the night. She comes out though and touches <laughs> Carla's stomach and goes, "Will this be? Will this be the carrier? <laughs> the carrier of our savior?" Hey, hey, Jay, your mom kind of spooked me when she ran out naked and touched my stomach no, and said... No, that's my mom. She's ah, busting chops. Hey, why... Um, hey, quick question. Welcome why to is, my home. Why is your 11-year-old brother in a silk robe uh, putting opi opiate deposit suppositories on our pillows? Oh, yeah, he was... I saw your brother. Uh, he was actually pruning roses when I walked in. I don't feel really comfortable with this. He said... He whispered to me that he makes his own baby oil. <laughs> Um, I don't know. So, I... we go into the room and this music's playing. The mute, the mood is set great. I swear to you, my mom I'm just like I'm like cool. Good, look at look at that, Bobby. Yeah, see, good shit, bro. That is awesome. And he went in his room, and we went to our room, or I went to my room, and she had the lingerie on, and we laid down. I think we made out for a little bit, and she just she couldn't have been more honest. And I totally got. She goes, I'm sorry, I don't want to do anything tonight. I'm like, what do you mean? This is the big night. 
hey, this is here. We're back. We have you know overnight to spend. She's just like, yeah, your brother just like set up like yeah. music. It's just it's we. I'm sorry. Your brother's, it's weird. Also, <laughs> your brother's still in the room. <laughs> And he's playing the violin. I let her off the hook. I, I was like, all right, we didn't do anything that night. Like, it was fine. Shh, you put on that lingerie for absolutely nothing. Come on. This is how you join the family. Come on. I want to give my mom a high five in the morning. I got. I told my mom I was about to make a canary sing. <laughs> he's about to make No, no, no. Please don't do this. My whole family's listening outside the door. Dude, my ex. My, yeah. Right don't there. shoot me down. Oh, you're going to make me look like a loser in front of my whole fucking family. Yeah, we're broadcasting this to the living room. Hey, everyone, it's a no-go. Oh. I stayed up late for this. I got to take your grandma back to the house. I have to work in the morning, Jason. I thought you were going to bring home an honorable girl that sticks to her work. <laughs> Anytime a woman wears lingerie in my, in my family, when a woman wears lingerie, a penis is coming. Carla, more like cock tease. All right. I'll be downstairs eating a hoagie if anybody needs me. Yeah, get ready to have some Cold eggs in the morning, <laughs> she devil you devil bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna piss in your pancake batter, you all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at least one of us will get inside you. <laughs> hey, more than blue balls and bitch. Hey, did you rub my son's <laughs> dick over his pants all night? <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh, my ex is, in hindsight, I mean, I can't believe she saw me after that again, let alone yeah. slept with me ever. My, my, dude, this is like the polar opposite. My ex-girlfriend, when we go visit my mom in Colorado, my, uh, the guest bedroom in my mom's townhouse is directly <laughs> below my mom's room. And so she'd be like, come on, let's like, she'd like touch my dick. I'd be like, what are you doing, you animal? My mom's right upstairs. <laughs> so we had to go fuck. We'd have to fuck in the bathroom down the hall, but oh. it's like a tiny bathroom. And I would always get some sort of neck or back pain while we were fucking. So oh. it would always be like, I'd lock up, but I couldn't, <laughs> but I couldn't yell because my mom was sleeping. So I'd be like, stop it. Uh, time out. Uh, time out. Give me a banana. Time Give out. me a banana. There was one time she was close to coming, so she was just like mushing me. I was like, ow, ow, ow. And she came, and I was like, oh. it was like a Navy SEAL test. <laughs> I was like, I think I could be tortured now. <laughs> I kept my dick hard while my back was slipping. Where's the secrets? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I will ride your dick until you tell me. Uh, yeah, that was awful. It was just awful. That's and then cool. I remember being drunk. I, I, I think Carl also, in the same weekend, or at least one of them she came, was also agreed to a nice dose of you come home late. Like, if we did, like, if I was in the Laugh House or something one weekend, she would come back with me late. Like, you might be even, she might have even been treated to a couple of doses of my mom and Joe rocking it. Like, really? Like, yeah, just like. That's true love. When you walk through the living room, like, the, their bedroom's right above that. And, like, you know, Joe lays it down deep. Yeah. We all know that. Hey, what's up with the ground and pound coming from your mom's room? <laughs> <laughs> I remember times Joe was also like a paranoid dude, so it's great. Like, yeah. you'd hear him rocking sometimes, and then if there was, if I was trying to be quiet and you'd hear a noise, like, Big Dick Joe just bust out of the bedroom naked holding a golf club. <laughs> hey, what's that? Oh, Jay, when just, you get home, Jay? It's just, uh, it's just the, the the child that I discipline that isn't my own blood. Speaking of blood, you can see my boner's going down right now. I gotta pop back in. Jay, what are you doing, man? You're killing my boner. Oh man, now your mom's gonna have to hand work me again. Ah, oh, dude, I had your mom near the summit. <laughs> we, were about, we were about to summit. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the opposite. Oh, shit. Because my mom's Joe, when they would bang, they'd just be sloppy drunk because they're just drinking fucking, uh, like, pint-sized glasses of mixed drinks. Jesus. So they'd just bang it out and then just, like, sloppily drunk and leave the door open so you'd have to, like, hear it and you'd be like, ah. ah. So just go out in the garage. Just go out in the garage. Just stand in the garage. No wonder I started smoking when I was 14 because I'd just stand out in the garage like, ah, this is terrible. <laughs> Dad, go in the garage and get Joe a Gatorade off the pallet. I'm I'm wringing him out like a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> he needs electrolytes. I'm not even close. Yeah, I just popped my hip back in. <laughs> <laughs> I picture she she goes stop stop stop, and she goes over to a door jam like Mel Gibson, just wailing her snatch into a wall. Uh, hey. Ah! Hey, Dan, okay. if All right, you wouldn't back. mind finding a picture of your dad, it'll probably help me finish faster. <laughs> um, we got to take a break, right, Lou Dog? Yeah. All right. Don't we always? We got to take something. But this is good. Back. See, we stayed away from the calls because we're going to get to them. These are great ones, man. They are. They're very good. I love you, callers. I love you, Jay. I love you, Soda. Is that Soder. inappropriate? 
No, it's perfectly appropriate. Did I use Scotty from Boogie Nights here? We're going to get into these radio announcer voices, and we're going <gasps> to nail I it. I can't wait. Oh, are we doing old-timey? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio. <laughs> Hey, campers, if you've ever spent a night on really luxurious bedding, you know how amazing you feel the next day. But with department stores and their 800% markups, you'd have to pay a fortune to afford them. Not if you buy sheets from Bowl & Branch. Bowl & Branch linens are made from the finest organic cotton in the world. And you won't believe how soft they are. Everyone falls in love with them, even three U.S. presidents. And the obscene department store markups? Branch cuts that out. All that nonsense by only selling online at BowlingBranch.com. You get high-end thousand-dollar luxury linens for just a couple hundred bucks. They are so confident you'll love Bowling Branch sheets, you can try them risk-free for 30 nights. It gets better. If you order right now, they'll give you $50 off a set of sheets plus free shipping. Just go to BowlingBranch.com and use the pro promo code BONFIRE. That's right. To get $50 towards a sheet set by going right now to BowlingBranch.com and use the promo code BONFIRE. That's a steal. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Ah! Hey, King of Sodomy! That's Marilyn Manson with King of Sodomy! The bonfire, we're back. It's Marilyn Manson Monday. Holy shit, dude. That... I haven't laughed that hard at fucking anything. Yeah, you had a good one at that. I was so enjoying how much you enjoyed that. Dude. I was so hilariously just confused by it. Oh, my God. You gotta understand, everybody... Marilyn Manson is Jay's shit. Jay loves Marilyn Manson the way I love Queens of the Stone Age. It's just, that's our favorite band. We know that about each other. Yep. Jay's very excited about Marilyn Manson Monday. Yes. Wanted to start off hot with a little cake and sodomy. Everyone thought it had it queued up. The bonfire team was there. And cake and sodomy kicks in. We did a very... Dunk, 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 dunk. We do a very lackluster read. It was great. I fucked up my part. You were great. I thought you were fantastic. I thought I fucked up. But then... You're too hard on yourself. Here comes Marilyn Manson, right? Wrong. Loot plays. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What's this song called? Cake and Eat It. And by the way... Who's it by? By the way, when we, he started singing, I lost my we're shit. We're back in the studio to like... I like when we play the music over the speakers in studio. We yeah. rock. We, we fill the studio. We rock it out with music. And, and this came on. <laughs> confused the goddamn shit. Dude, I heard, I heard. Soda was on the ground. I almost stepped on him. I didn't realize he was on the ground. I just had my arms up like... Dude. What the crazy... And Lou wasn't looking up right away. Dude, you gotta understand. So Lou's looking down like... He was almost accepting like... Did you think this was Marilyn Manson? <laughs> yeah, because I don't know how Marilyn Manson starts. Uh, dude, when I heard him kick in that first line where he goes... Ah, my king! <laughs> Dude, that shit, that shit dropped me like a punch to the stomach. Uh, That's how hard I was laughing. Wait, uh, this is a new Manson, softer side. Uh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, David Gray. Ah, David. That is way different. Dude. Mash up, Lou. Mash up. Throwing some God of fuck over this. Oh. Fuck, that was funny. I don't know why. Can't get inside of me. Sometimes you can't explain why things make you laugh as hard as they fucking do, but that made me laugh. That was fantastic. Wow. I, feel I was like so confused. I like to, and it just kicks into cake and sodomy, and it's like seamless. <laughs> <laughs> seamless. I got a bad label. I like boating and loose fitting shirts. It's a fucking great song. Oh, oh. Yeah, I was expecting the first words to be, I'm the god of fuck. I like cake and why, why, why trash? Find this guy, that guy, whoever you just played, find his catalog and mash it up with Marilyn Manson songs. Because that goofy voice being over Marilyn Manson's music oh, yeah. would make me laugh. Catalan's my thing. So he's got confirmation or I guess it's coming. <laughs> A pleasant woman who lets me sleep with her on the third date. Oh, 
We're talking about people sleeping with their friends. We're talking about people sleeping with their friends, Bob. Oh, no, now this is getting, this is causing a headache. Uh, we really, really tickled. I almost want to have Carla call in. <laughs> so, just to say what she felt like in I don't think we were really over talked about in hindsight how she must have felt in that situation. Can you text her? She's probably with our daughter. Oh, okay. Well, don't you guys like have uh, a. Hey, it's 844 Comedy 9 if she uh, if she's able to call in. Don't you have um like special type of earmuffs in the Okerson family? Well, she's listening to the show. Isabella was just listening. No, I think she oh, didn't God. let Isabella say what I'm saying, so she might not be with Isabella. Or she's being a horrible mom. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? I can't be there every day. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm look, trying to make look money. How scary that guy is. Look at that guy. Yeah, no, I thought you were talking about David Gray. We have a video up of now, and that is not Marilyn Manson oh, at all. Oh, yeah, we got to mash those videos up. <laughs> White, white trash, white, white, white trash. Um, so we were talking about earlier uh, banging your friend's parents, guys banging, <laughs> yeah. guys banging their friends' moms. We hope we're hoping to find you know a girl who fucked a friend's a father or something or uncle or some shit like well, that. Well, I mean, this is pretty close. We got Lizette in Indiana. Yeah, this is a good one. Lizette, you there? I'm here. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I love you guys' show. Oh, thank you, Lizette. Thank you, Lizette. Now, what happened with your son's friend? So, I have to preface it by saying we didn't really have sex, but it it was embarrassing to tell because um, he saw some naked pictures of me. And um, how did he, that, what, how what kind of naked pictures were they? Were they on a phone? Were they hard copy? Okay. So, um, I had just moved here from New York, okay. and my man at the time was still back in New York, and we were kind of doing a long distance thing. So, I used to send him flicks, you know. So, um, they were like, no, no money shots, but like tits and ass, you know, some decent shots that I wouldn't want him to see. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. So, anyways, um, I had, he saw the pictures by accident, and I tried to play it off, but... Uh, Lizette, hold on, Lizette, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's no way he saw that on accident. Yes. He was gunning okay. for those. He wanted uh, to see those pictures. So... We are, I was with my son and his friend, and they were both about 16 at the time. Oh, boy. And not thinking they were on my phone, I had let him use my phone for something, and it, like, popped up on the screen when he turned my phone on when I locked it for him. Oh, oh man, that is tough. Wait, so, oh, wait, your son was right next to him when it happened? My son was right next to him. Oh, my God. Oh. Was... How, how, how bad was this picture, Lizette? I mean, like, as far as like, filth level I'm talking about. I'm sure it's a lovely picture. Yeah, I mean, you must have had some fucking great pics, but also, I mean, the shell shock to your son. But that's what I'm saying, though. Almost was it like a... Uh, like a tastefully, like trying to be like, or was this like a real like, look what's happening inside of my body? Yeah, I want you can take my body and do whatever you like. What, what kind so they of? Both, they both sat up straight real quick, so I was like, oh no, <sighs> and I knew right that's what took the hits off. So I snatched the phone back, but. It would have been, it'd that, been, it'd it'd been, what's your? It'd have been weirder if you called the kid out and you're like, did you like what you see? He's like, oh, oh no. 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 When I was 16, I didn't even like 16-year-old boys, so there's no way in hell. That's just, no, 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 I can't. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I'm sure, but I, I mean, but I want to know, how, it was, was it a graphic picture he saw, or was it like? Oh, um, the topless picture, and then like a picture and like a thong bending over, so I mean. Oh, it was, okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty. Good. I mean, that's, 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 that's rough for your son to know that his buddy saw that, but that's, it could be way worse. It could be. In the world, in the world of dirty pictures, it could have been way worse. How long ago was this? Uh, three years ago, I was 35 at the time. I'm, I'm about to be 39. So, yeah. Okay. So, right. and, yeah, I mean, it wasn't no, like, two nanny out shots, but it was yeah, nothing I wanted him to see. So, okay. but the funny thing is, he used to come around after that, <laughs> and he would flirt with me so hard. I mean, he would tell my <laughs> Yeah. He thought he had a shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was like, your mom's a milf and all this and that. And I'm sure at school, oh, my poor son, you know, I'm sure that, like... Oh, you, I'll tell you this, Lizette, your son is really good at fist fighting right now. <laughs> your son, I know you probably don't know this, but he can drop motherfuckers. Or he's a great kid with really thick skin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's going to murder his office one day. <laughs> he's going to gun down the entire Enterprise wing. Uh, the funniest part was one day um, we were at the pool. I drove my son to the pool, and um, I was just dropping him off, but the kid happened to be there. So he came over to the car with his shirt off, and you know how guys flex their pectorals to, like, you know, make their chest muscles bounce? 
he said, not doing that while he's talking to me. And I was just like, oh, my God, this kid. That is, you know what? This kid, I almost like this. This kid's the most confident kid in the world. I would have just been like, let's never talk about it. And I could just always live in that moment that was, I had that moment. He's going for more. Yeah, Lizette, was this a white kid? Yes. So this is like, that's like that wow. white white kid like, hey, what's up? So how you been? Like he's trying to talk like an adult. Hey, Miss Lizette. Oh. Hey, Lizette. What did you think about this weather? It's pretty balmy. Am I right? <laughs> and, you know, I didn't want to like, I mean, I wanted him to know it wasn't going to happen, but I didn't want to hurt his feelings too hard because we had just moved there and my son didn't have too many friends yet. Well, was- now your son's got a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> or your son's friend has a lot of friends. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's a tough one, but there are, there are adults now. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. 18 and 19. Yeah. Mm. And oh, no, no, no way that would happen. No, thank you. But, um, you know, the, the, I was thinking, thank God for, um, that it wasn't opposite way around that, you know, I was a man and he was a girl cause they don't, you know, get arrested over shit like that. So, yeah, I mean, I want to see what, I want to know what Lizette looks like so bad. Right I bet it, I, Lizette <laughs> sounds hot. No, I'm sure. So I'm saying, and, and you were 35 when the, uh, the pictures they saw. Oh my God, do you, Lizette! I don't think you understand how many times that kid masturbated to you. Oh yeah, he triple digits. Oh, he was raw. At some points, he gets mad at you because he's he's so raw down yeah, there. He would wake up and he'd go, "Leave my head, devil thoughts. <laughs> Leave Get me. out of my brain, Miss Lizette. Oh, I, I can't touch my 16 year old penis, but yet I have to." I can't. <laughs> Your man's was in New York. Oh, the way you said that. He's got a cold pack rubber banded around his dick. <laughs> uh, it's like it's like one of the murder scenes in Seven where they just make him do something. Until oh, he's underwear dead. stings. Ah, the underwear stings. <laughs> hey. Oh, my ball sweat's getting into the rubs. Hey, what's up with your friend wearing the kimono around now? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Hey, that's fucking great. He comes over in a kimono. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, that's Brad. You got Brad drops? You want to get into a fist fight, Lou? You trying to get knocked the fuck out playing Brad in my ears like that? What's up? Hey, Lizette. How's it going? Hey, Lizette. Seattle's always in a good mood, man. You smoke a blunt, get ready to go. That's the guy who turned on us. <laughs> Look how promising that call started. Oh, so good, Lizette. Thank you so much for calling in. and, and um... Bye. Bye. And thank Lizette. you. Lizette. Lizette, bye. She's going to fall in love with that boy. <laughs> I, smell, I smell it all over. Said she's not into that usually. It's from, from across the tracks. Yeah, she be, said it. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be something. Or they're gonna just have an amazing bang session. Or her son murders the friend. Yeah. It's gonna go one way or the other. Or the son is a hardened criminal. What, guy. bro? I'm just saying your mom's real hot. Your mom's like throwing a vibe at me. <laughs> He's like, you know what I've been doing? Oh, dude, that's so great. <laughs> Lou, I love it. Maybe. How's it going? How's it going? Smoking blunts and duty. <laughs> Play that one. Seattle's always in a good mood, man. You smoke a blunt, get ready to go. Oh, do you have right when he turned? Fucking Lou's that, that kids. Is, that is right when he turned. Then yeah. you guys made fun of him, and that, that was... I smashed him for well, his he, voice. He didn't turn until three minutes later, but the three minutes in between are us making fun of his voice. Just he running. didn't like it. Just which, I, which I could play later on while you guys take a bathroom break if you'd like. Yeah, I want to hear that when we go pee-pee. Yeah, right? Um, oh, him getting mad at us? Yeah, the whole, the whole clip. Oh, God. Just in case yes. someone didn't hear it. Oh, wow. Well, it's just fantastic. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can't. Well, being famous. I wonder if he still listens. Who, Brad? Yeah, you think he's out there? I think he's training like De Niro in Cape Fear. <laughs> <laughs> just doing body dips? <laughs> just body dips on fucking steel like bed uh, ends? Uh, uh. Looking at her dumb smirks. <laughs> <laughs> all, all he sees is the smir- our picture. It's just you and me smirking. You just see his, his head just keeps coming in and out of the mirror. <laughs> in his attic apartment. <laughs> I didn't know much about the boy. Seemed relaxed. He rents it from a lady. He killed her three months ago, but he still pays his rent every month. <laughs> and he goes down and gets food out of her refrigerator and talks to her as she's hey, dead. Hey, Mrs. H. No, not even, doesn't even look at her. He goes, ah, these guys were making fun of me again on the radio. Just drinks a whole thing of milk and wipes it off his mouth. <laughs> yeah, but we'll even it out. She's just a knife in her chest yeah. in a rocking chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a real bummer De Niro gave up. He was good. Huh? I said it's a real bummer De Niro gave up because he was the best. Yeah, it's given up. You think? I don't know. You think he has no passion in the intern? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm with you. I don't know. 
But we got so many fuck stories. Tales of ribaldry. Oh, oh. Brian in Ohio. Let's, well, since we're keeping on this track here. What? Brian. What's up, guys? Hey, What's dude. Up, dude. Oh, man, I hope that guy's friends still listen to the show and just give him shit every yeah. time they bring him up. Man, dude, that's got to be tough. Dude, you got to understand that you can't make the same kind of eye contact with a human being after that. Yeah, have you seen your mom? I, I don't know. Look. Dude, I got a great one. My listen, friend, listen. Uh, I, it happened to me. I my, think, there, I think there, uh, my friend may have saw a picture or a video clip of my mom for a second. My mom did a weird thing. Like, uh, I used to have these little videotapes that I would record like my comedy when I first started. Yeah. And when there's a split second, I think, of my mom's boobs. And what? I think uh, David Lewis, Legion of Skanks, yeah. when I was, we were trying to go through my, my old comedy tapes, Saw it for a second, and we all laughed, but it's far from the end of the world. So yeah. Again, again this is like, I'm like in my 30s at this point. It was, for you, some reason, it wasn't that. Well, I was like, whatever. 12 years old, my friend Byron runs upstairs in my house real quick to grab something out of my room. Yeah. My mom's coming out of the bathroom, scares her, tit flops out. Oh, yeah. your mom's big fat tit yeah. flop? Got a oh. big old boob coming out. Byron saw it, oh. scrambled in my room, came down, and, came down a different man. Saw my stepmom naked one time by accident. That was big moment for me. I was yeah. big. I was good. Great. Oh, it was great. Your respect. I don't even remember much about it. Yeah, but I just remember being like, I remember going in like you know, kind of like, be first being like, oh shit, I'm not supposed to be seeing that, and then really having that like yeah, that extra like, se- in it. point seven seconds of being like, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> now. My dad talks me out of the room physically. You know, my, my feet are sliding on socks. Like, woo! Coasting the rest of the night on that one, Bubba. Woo! I love you, Dad. Turns out we have the same taste. <laughs> Full muff, heavy taste. <laughs> Good job, Papa Bear. Uh, and then I really stopped uh, having any... Even when my stepbrothers would give me shit, I always had that thing in my head. I'm like, yeah, well, I saw your mom's box. Whatevs. Oh, dude, that's cool. You guys can give me wedgies and whatever. I had a weird run with those stepbrothers. One of them woke up and, or didn't he? He slept walked while I was sleeping in the, on the floor of the room. He went, woke up, he woke up and I was like, hey, Chris, what's up, buddy? And he just like had his eyes closed still and he walked like past me into the corner and just pissed all over my clothes. That's, uh, I, like all over my, all over my suitcase that I bring for the weekend. Pissed all over it. And I, then, and then it went back to bed and I just went, and I was just a little fat kid and I just went, what? I uh, started crying because uh, I was just so panicked by what happened. I would love if he called in and he was like, "Yeah, I was just uh, I was just pissing on your shit." Yeah, man, like fuck you. Because I don't like you. Yeah, you saw my mom's box. Yeah, I'm pissed on your stuff. I'm gonna piss all over your clothes. <laughs> the gall you had to look at my mom naked, and you think I'm not gonna piss on your How stuff? How dare you, Brian in Ohio? I'm sorry we interrupted uh, you. No, you're good, man. Um, so I saw my friend's mom's box. What? Uh, we were just we were getting baked one night, man, and my buddy was like, "Hey, I got a uh, I got a picture. I got some pictures of dude's mom naked." I'm like, "Dude, you're full of shit. Whatever." So he goes and gets these pictures, man. I guess they were like snooping through his parents' room one night, and my buddy just snatched these pictures. What? And I mean, yeah, I'm talking. I'm guessing they were from like late seventies, early eighties, because I'm talking big like loincloth bush, dude. I mean. She, I mean, she was hot. Don't get me wrong. It was a huge, like, 80s-style bush. And he had three pictures. One of her was, you know, leaning in a doorway. And one of her Wait, was so this was... Bed. I'm sorry to interrupt, Brian. So this was not your friend's mom. This was your friend... Another friend's mom. Yeah. Like, so the guy who had... No, no, the, no, but he was friends with him. You're friends with the guy, too, right? Yeah, we were all three friends. Okay, I was confused. Yeah. Yeah, so I was confused. I thought the guy was showing pictures of his own mom naked to you. No, basically it would be... A, uh, if I'm Brian, I'm telling the story of you having a picture of Lou's mom's naked. Got it. We're all friends. We got pictures of Lou's mom naked? Oh, somewhere. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Downer. <sighs> Thanks, Lou. I mean, I never told him. Well, I'll give I you back the pictures then, Lou. <laughs> so, wait, wait, Brian, did you... That was great. <laughs> Brian, did you... Was she hot? Oh God, yeah, man, she's still hot. Nice, really. I could, I could not believe this, man. I, I mean, you know, I was sixteen years old. So this is like a real. Whoa, dude! And we're all three of you sixteen. All the three of the dudes. 
Yeah, man. I mean, this was before the internet, so I mean, I'm talking to great. Penny catalog was a was a good deal, you know. So this was epic. How did the kid? How did the the lady's kid cope? Did he know uh, they were out there? I mean, I think my buddy had made a joke about it once, but oh, he told can me you? that do not ever tell him you saw these. Yeah, I mean, dude, Brian, you would crush a man psychologically. Yeah, but you guys, no one took them, right? You just looked at them and put them back? No, he still has them. To Get this the day. fuck out of here. Oh. He What's our Gmail? Oh, bon, is it the bomb? <laughs> oh, man, if you can get a copy of that, I would just go oh. to Kinko's. We'll pay for it. God we'll, damn. We'll pay Pally the amount. I want to see. Uh, by the way, it's so funny. Again, that attachment to it. It's like when you, you see what? celebrity porn. She, she's a celebrity of this story. She's one of the biggest celebrities it'll, in their lives. It'll mean more to me to see that Polaroid now because yeah. of this story he just told me. And also she said she's so hot, which means I mean, this is like... If he'll let, if he'll at least send me a picture of one of them. Okay, you can even blot the head out. What is, what's he doing? He's hanging on to him. He's fucking scared. Yeah. Nah, man, they're away. Oh, yeah, dude. They're in my storage unit. Yeah, dude, <laughs> sorry, I got those in a uh, museum glass. <laughs> got them pinned up. Do you understand? That's basically like, I got it in the same thing they got the Declaration of Independence in. <laughs> it just keeps, keeps the air crisp. I keep it in a Pope mobile. <laughs> yeah. Anyone takes a shot at old Justin's mom's tits, I got them. Impenetrable. Dude, that's great, dude. What, did you? How many times did you, like, did that start you jerking off to her? Uh, no, but it certainly helped it along. I mean, yeah, it did. I mean, that, I still, I mean, they're in the spank bank permanently. That does not fade. Yeah, of course not. Of course not. Well, dude, thanks for calling in, Brian. Right on. You guys have a good night. You too, dude. Is our guest getting close? I don't know. Should probably take a break, right, Lou Dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take a break. It's the Mind Fire. You're listening to Comedy Central Radio. And now back to the Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Marilyn Manson Monday. We did it. You did it. We it's all the bonfire. It. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, so we were just talking about <clears throat> sexual relations between the youth and the elder. Some good stories so far, man. Yeah. Seeing, you see, man, I never... Seeing an well, we, saw, we saw our buddy, our buddy Ed, his mom, came down one time wearing like a long dress shirt. And you could, she was probably wearing underwear, but like, you know, it was long enough to you. We didn't see anything, but it's just like the idea of just like, we were like a bend over away from seeing panties was just like huge. But I can't think of anything other than that. We got um, our third guest ever on the bonfire. A good buddy of both of ours and literally a man with some of my favorite stories of all time. <laughs> Chris Stefano. Yes. Hey, buddy. Thank you so much for having me. I'm I'm happy to unveil. I was listening last uh, to the replay. Yeah. Um, I texted you. You said, "Hey, if anyone's out there, bang their friend's mom. <laughs> yeah. Let us know." And then I immediately, I had that thing in my head. Where I was like, "Wait, you know, should I, should I, should I text him and tell him I, I know that I, I did that or not?" And then just right away, I was like, "Ah, let's do it." But that's that's yeah. the comic in you. That's yeah. the beauty of, of Chris. I said he's got. That's why you say he's got great stories, and he does. In he does. fact. And I think a lot of that is uh, he's got the stories of a really good-looking douchebag, but the mind of like a good guy, yes. funny guy. I'll tell Rare. you this. I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> Rare combo. Because you guys, combo. I, I dare I say, the two of you, two of my favorite storytellers in the same room. Both of you guys, fantastic storytellers. Very you, different bodies. Very different bodies. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you guys are both dirtbags in a likable way. That right. it makes these stories fucking great. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I at first Annie Letterman was the the first person who ever said like, "Hey, you're like such a douche," but I still like like you. And she was <laughs> like, "I just don't know what it is. It pisses me off." Yeah. She's like, because you talk about like sometimes you talk about women in this very just like you know like they're objects, and but still I like want to hear more. And I'm like, I, I don't know if that's a good talent or bad talent, but I think the thing is, look, I appreciate women. I appreciate the good story, and I think when I was a kid. Things would be happening to me, and I would be paying attention to it. Like, oh wow, this is weird. This probably isn't happening to anyone else, yeah. but it's happening to me. So remember this. And I used to write a lot of diaries. You, so you, you have a straight up erotic red shoe diary. <laughs> yeah, 
Oh, my first probably 10 sexual September. encounters. Yeah, <laughs> I wrote them down. She, she spread her wings for me. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Jeter hit a home run. <laughs> yeah. I find that that was the second most exciting thing. Yeah, I came in Samantha's belly button. <laughs> <Yeah>. Dude, <laughs> can you please, our first bonfire staple, be, do you have that diary? That's a good, if anything, it'd be at my mother's house. Oh my Christ! I hope she never reads it. I got this. You know, I like everything. Your I got the Nike just, his mom's just jilling off. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's when I laid her down and face blasted her with all my ball milk. <laughs> yeah. um, oh my God! I was probably at that time, the early two thousands. I was probably just banging chicks and then wiping the jits off with my Ed Hardy t shirts. It's uh, <laughs> great. Pure Brooklyn dick bag. Yeah, <laughs> just g- classic. So around this, <laughs> you got bed sheets that have like an eagle on them, like a thunderbird. <laughs> yeah, he let. He always, he always sleeps with his arm folded under his head so yeah. it looks good on his ass. I had weights and jump ropes like yes. next to my <laughs> Yes. Who was that girl with the big butt, Vita Guerrera? Oh, Did you have a yeah. poster oh, of her? Fucking slam it to her. Yeah. All day. Everybody loved her. I was in New York. She, and she, had some, then, and she had those cell phone pictures came out. Who didn't yeah. when those cell phone pictures and came another out? Big one, another big one in my neighborhood is when Sable, the female, yeah, was I mean, Sable, yeah, she came out with jizz everywhere. Just everyone jacking yeah. it to it. Um, so, sure, but yeah. that is around the same time that one yeah. of your, now explain your friend's mom. You don't have to give names or anything. Okay. But. My friend's mom, this, this has got to be, I just cracked my virginity. So I cracked my virginity late 2001. I, I used sympathy from nine eleven to get pussy. Really? Uh, yeah, true was, story? True story. It was bad, bad of me, but I just, you know, it's, I don't know. Do you think one People of the ghosts, crazy. do you think one of the ghosts of nine eleven was like, that's cool. You can use it. <laughs> yeah, he, well, no, I just, I remember like I was dating, you know, my girl and we hadn't had sex yet. And like, you know, I, it was like painful. For, I didn't outright say it, but I think she knew like that I was like, you know, hurt by the whole t- situation. And then I Oh, remember, the national tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> Truck less than three miles away from your house. <laughs> yeah, and she just, you know, we and and I remember having sex. So this was probably you got pussy because of nine eleven. I think so. I th- I'm not. She would never say that. And I'm not a hundred percent positive. I mean, but, if she wanted to be viewed as the most patriotic person in the world, she would. Yeah, was. disasters like this make me think you got to grab life by the balls. You know <laughs> what I mean? Or maybe <laughs> you should grab life by the balls. <laughs> life being me in this analogy, <laughs> and and uh, America being you and I in the Silk sheets. Yeah, never forget these twin balls. <laughs> My balls will be playing the part of the balls in this one. I got a tower you can take down. <laughs> uh, Too uh, soon. Um, uh, so this had to be. The thing with my with my friend's mom had to be. I would say 2002. This was, this was the fourth sex. Uh, you know, person I had sex with. Yeah. Um, so what happened was is is uh, hanging so out. So she, how close of friends are you? That's the first question. Were you this? Was this like your boy? Like, no, um, guy on the block. Guy on the block. Exactly, guy on the block. But good enough for. I mean, I'd known the guy since the you know nine ninety seven ninety eight. So, so. You, so about freshman year of high school is when you guys started hanging out. That's when we started hanging out. Right, freshman but, year of high school. That, okay, so that's not as bad because there's a thing about like maybe if you were like five or six and you're right. friends with that guy, you grow up together. This woman didn't help raise me. She wasn't like my you know lunchroom lady. She, I good. didn't know her. I, I actually only met her like I met my friend and then I met the mom like you know a year or two later. And barbecue and i just want to say this all these rules that we're establishing are kind of making me feel better so i'm starting to bone up just knowing that, <laughs> knowing that none so, of these so why'd you hear that none of these psychological <laughs> rules were broken i like this this is a very clean yeah. sexual encounter all right so <laughs> it, yeah it was it was a little sloppy so so you meet I her go, at a barbecue. We meet her at a bar. That's the first time. Nothing, you know, nothing. And right away, but, this, but it was a barbecue where he goes, this is my mom. Yeah, and then every all oh. of us are like, whoa. <laughs> was, was she just a smoke show? She was smoke show, and the, the MILF phrase had just come out. Like, it was still new when yeah, you were like, MILF, MILF. American Pie. American Pie. Yeah. So MILF, so we're, you know, instant MILF. So, um, we're, this is, you know, time later after the barbecue, not the same day, like, you know, months and months later, we're in the house just hanging out. Upstairs, the only had the one bathroom downstairs was on didn't work. So okay. I said, "Look, anybody's got to pee, go upstairs." So that's where the Wait, bedrooms who, you, are. You and the friend are hanging out. Me and the friend and a bunch of us are hanging. There's probably ten people in this guy's at house. his house. At his house. Okay. Mom's upstairs, no problem. Go up the stairs to use the bathroom. Yeah. Not expecting anything. Okay. She comes out. She was going out. She was going out that night. <sighs> She comes out in like, you know, black, you know, like dress pants and a black button down shirt with one of the buttons 
was a little open. And yeah. I said, I said to her, Mrs. You know, last yeah. name, I said, your button is unbuttoned. I'm not thinking anything. I'm just being a polite young, young boy. Young boy. Good boy from Brooklyn. Good boy from Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who, has, who has ecstasy that I'm going to sell that are really excedrin yeah, like, pills. I, you're like, listen, <laughs> just the, yeah. I'm going to, uh, the part of me you don't know is I'm about to flood my serotonin levels <laughs> to some Paul Oakenfold. <laughs> the part of me you do know is yeah. your button's open. I need to use your restroom. That's it. You're a classy lady. You don't go out like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, put it away. <laughs> so, so she says, I said, Oh, the buttons, you know, ma'am, you could see that. And she says, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even know. She's like, is this better? Buttons one down. Ah, so button one's down. So now yeah. we have how big, some, were the, how big were the tits? But D's. Just only, D's? D's. Oh, so, were there. Hold on. Just, Mom D's. Like, oh, Christine. Post, big, huge <laughs> boobs. D's. We were talking about this earlier. They're D's. <laughs> but I'm asking who... All the friends were still there. They're point. downstairs, though. Oh. I'm upstairs oh, you alone upstairs. in private. Gotcha. Oh. Nobody knows. I'm in the bathroom. When oh, she, okay. At what point did your dick slam into your jeans because you had a boner? <laughs> Is it the second button? When she put down the second button, That's I'm telling like. you, dude, I instantly felt pre cum rolling down my inner thigh. Look how excited Soder is for you. He's living it. It's awesome. So yeah. li- you're taking him on a journey right yeah. now. I really am. And, and it's like those women that do those romance book clubs. Yeah. I get it. This is fucking... And, you know, I'm 17, 18, so yeah, I'm mean, shredded. Boom. Oh, fucking and rip, dude. I, dope ass basketball player. Dope ass basketball player. I had, at that time, I'm, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, I yeah. probably had like. A sick fucking blowout. Okay. I was wearing a North Face jacket. Lost, most me, likely. Right, lost me right there. Yeah, but but I'm just saying what it was in Brooklyn. You have yeah. a blowout haircut with you know hairspray galore. Probably on a North Face jacket. Um, maybe and, some Tommy Hilfiger shit. And so she goes second button, and she goes. She goes second button. Is that better? So I start stuttering. I I literally because don't forget I only had sex with three women, three women before that, which is a lot for seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, I guess. I guess that is. So yeah. I got in a ton of blowjobs. Yeah, it is. Two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. guys had that happen when they were younger. Yeah, Chris, it's a lot. Really? Wow, what a burden! <laughs> How many yeah. blowjobs? Because I called that sex back then. Yeah, <laughs> or at least the ones I made up and told my friends <laughs> that the girls lived she by my cousin. Gave, she just gave me a blowjob. It was by Skate City. So <laughs> if you didn't care. So I, so mm. the button, second button goes down, <laughs> and you're stuttering. I'm stuttering. I mean, rock hard. Rock hard. The bathroom. I some like a nervous tick. Yeah. I was standing right next to the bathroom. I turned the water on with the door open. I just turned the water on. Like, I just was yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. so I just it's turned like, the water on. You reacted to it the way like, uh, fucking soldiers have PTSD. <laughs> yeah. They just try to do an action. Uh, uh, yeah. Focus, change yeah. focus. focus. It'll pass. It'll pass. So I put the water on and she goes, and like, then this, then she becomes like sex mother. Cause she goes, she goes, how nervous are you? And I was like, oh my what God. You, what kind of, what, what <laughs> was her ethnicity? Shit. White, but hot, like, but like white, like blonde hair, big tits, like white, but like, but like, but like the kind of like. Burrow trash. Burrow, yeah, like, like you yeah, really want to fuck this lady. Yeah, bro. So she goes. Mobster girlfriend. Yeah. How so old she, would you say she was? 40. 45. Oh, perfect. Something like that. Like, just really you guys are A all, nice 2000. 45. I have you somewhere said, 45. Said, well, he was a little old. He was 20. If I could step in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's probably 45. If I could step in here as a MILF sommelier. Yeah. That's a great year. Please. You're looking yeah. at a a, a, 90, a 40-year-old in, what am I going to say, the year 2000? Yeah, 2000. 2001. Those are 2002. Great. Those are great years for 40-year-olds. Great, old, so great years. They matured a little bit. The mid-30s became popular in the mid-2000s. And then, of course, we've graduated back to early 40s. Sorry to interrupt. So no, 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 that's good. It's, it's, it's big. Big. Vintage and year. Um, yeah. so, it's an old so world. She then turns off the water. She <sighs> so comes into the because now I backed up into the bathroom. So she turns on the turns off the water and shuts the door. Yes, behind me. So I still at the at that point I'm like. I don't know, like, this is not happening. This I imagine, is not happening. Hold on, but I imagine your dick tearing off your clothes like, uh, like, um, fucking warm ups. But, <laughs> but your dick does it where it's like, <laughs> like snap aways. Yeah. I think by the time we hit the climax of the story, me and Soda are going to be talking both into this same mic. <laughs> like, what happened then? What? Like we're doing a duet. <laughs> so then she unbuttons all the buttons. So now she's standing there, buttons unbuttoned with her bra still, black bra, push, you know, pushing her tits up. <sighs> Just stand there, and she starts unzipping my pants. Oh, yeah, and I didn't have. I, and this is like her <laughs> son and everyone he knows is downstairs. downstairs. Oh. They're downstairs. She was going through a divorce. I found out later. 
So I hit this prime time because she's Jeez. going through a divorce. Zuss. Stars lined up for you, So buddy. she's ripping down. So she zips down my pants, then turns the water back on, goes, I don't want anyone to hear. And so she knows, and she starts sucking my dick in the mirror. So I have the mirror oh. to the left, which she knew. Oh, that's a pro. She Lucky knew. duck. That's an old pro right there. Right, so she's sucking it, and she starts pulling down my pants. Yeah. Okay, and as she's sucking my dick, she's unbuttoning her pants. Just getting ready. She's getting on a, ready. She's yeah. on a time crunch. She's, she's a single mom. She right. knows what's So in the beginning, you may have even thought, like, oh, she's going to blow me. Right. Now you realize, like, we're going to fuck. At, by this point, I still have not kissed her on the lips. She went right. She just unzipped my pants. That's and for girlfriends, man. Yeah, that's her girlfriend. <laughs> and she's sucking my dick. She goes, you have such a beautiful cock. Uh, yeah, so yeah. How'd you not come? Yeah, I know. Well, that's the... I mean, thank you. Good for young beautiful beautiful cock, thank you. Guys, everybody. My girlfriend's clapping for your beautiful everybody. cock. Everybody clap I don't like that. Yeah. Everybody clap for Chris's young, beautiful. Cock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, she, she. By the way, speaking of young, beautiful cock, this is something that my mom shares. My mom said that your mom shares young, beautiful cock. <laughs> young, beautiful cock. <laughs> this but is my, my Taiwanese lady boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's young, beautiful cock. Okay. Have a taste. My mom told me that the doctor came in after. When I was born, after my circumcision, said it's the best circumcision he's ever done. I she, nailed, she told, it. nailed no it. No yeah. shit. I was like, that's a weird thing for a doctor to say. Hey, comes my mom brought me a doctor when I was younger. They were concerned my dick was too small. Like it might be a medical problem. Are you serious? We had very different growing we're up. Really different. <laughs> we're the same, but different. <laughs> Jay, I imagine the doctor coming. It was in. like Freaky Friday. Was that really <laughs> like, oh, yeah. ah, are we twins? <laughs> the doctor comes in after Chris's circumcision, just taking his surgical <laughs> gloves off, just tosses it in the trash can, and goes, nailed it. <laughs> I, think yeah. goes, I quit. I have done. Better than that. It's perfection. <laughs> I merely sculpted away until what was left was Chris's dick the whole time. I will now pursue my passion, which is frisbee golf. <laughs> <laughs> so so you've she, had a beautiful dick your whole life. Beautiful dick my whole life, smooth. <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Mrs. Stefano, I don't mean to be a rude doctor here, but your kids got one hell of a cock. Oh yeah. If that's not the you have title, a nice of, cock too, if that's not the title of your uh, memoirs or your next CD. By the way, Chris looked at my pee hole. I've looked down at Sora's pee hole two or three times. Really? Check, check twice. the inflammation of the urethra. Yeah, it's twice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I've seen a lot oh. of comic sticks. These are, yeah. He, yeah. He's he's got got it's amazing how worried about their dicks a lot of comics are. Everything. Huh? And I would tell them, like, look, I'm a physical therapist. Like, I can, I can stretch was, your dick. I, I can't do anything. I'll tell you exactly what it was. 2011. Mm -hmm. And we went drinking that night at the beer garden. That's how it always oh, starts. Yeah, when, you show, when you show your friend your dick, it always starts. With, with the great Nate Bargazzi. Oh, yeah, full time magic. We're drinking beers. And I'm, I had hooked up with this girl that I worked with at a restaurant and it was a little aggressive and something hurt and i was super freaked out about it and chris is like in his very chris way he's like yeah bro look down your pee hole and we go in my bathroom and he looks down my pee hole and goes hey you fine it's just like did he have to grab it uh, i held it and opened it i did all the work <laughs> you, do you pee on back that fucking grilled cheese sandwich that is your sore pee hole and i was like mm, and then go, i'm not gonna lie gross. him saying it was okay I had such a good time that night because I felt Did like you, a doctor. Uh, and he had a nice piece. So nice dick. Thank really you. nice. Dick. Really, thank yeah, you yeah, very much. Good dick. <sighs> Just a good Denver dick. <laughs> a nice old Col a nice nice Denver Colorado. Colorado There's little chunks of ham in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah just fucking. <laughs> if you're ever in the Rocky Mountains <laughs> yeah, and you need fucking, some dick, it's like a can of Coors Light. Pete, Pete Coors knew that <laughs> man's dick was gonna be decent. It's a tall boy, just like the water he grew up drinking. <sighs> so she says you have a beautiful dick. She says you have a beautiful dick. She says she would like doing now. What kind of blowjob are we talking? She, are we talking about like a, a vet? She was doing two that hander? shotgun two hand. Oh, yeah, I was talking about that. that on the pre-record. This lady was in her mid forties. Indian burn, pepper Indian, mill, unbelievable. Yeah. So she's doing this. She's doing this. I'm. I'm telling you exactly what I was thinking of, because I knew that I was going to blow the load. I was thinking of my high school basketball coach the year before was <laughs> who's also downstairs who's, no, he just died yeah, oh. yeah who's also this coach jack kern used to walk around in these bike shorts with his just cellulite shit old man legs he was like 95 years old and i was thinking about his cell his like thigh cellulite to try to hold in my jizz because i was like there's no way and i, I just kept thinking about jack kern's bike shorts jack kern's bike shorts that's what i kept saying over and over and over in my yeah, head that's like Fight Club. So his his name was robert story, paulson good storytelling too yeah because I'll be honest, you were almost going to lose soda on facts in a second because you got him so boned up with his yeah. other shit. I love it. was it. good that you actually, in telling the story, you make us all think about those cottagey cheese legs. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. we all go back to like, okay, 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 I got to focus back on the story. Yeah. Yeah. Let's ahead. get you this You can never nut. be too we're detailed. We're not, com we're not coming yet. We haven't yeah. come yet. And I, and I, I'm speaking as the, the royal we. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm thinking about J Jack Kern's bike shorts. Jack Kern's bike shorts. 
she then takes my right hand and puts it on her ponytail to to like you okay, know move her, yeah so Just, she's doing and she's now it's like is that your oh, first time that's ever happening Blow, like, oh, you got, got, you, you got a lot before. of blowjobs. Never, never from, never like no, this. But I mean, have you ever get like the, the grab their head? No, no, I was getting blowjobs thing? from, you know, 17, 18 year old So this is time. also right. a blowjob way. You're looking at, this is like the first time people saw Hendrix play the guitar. Yes. It's, uh, it, you're it, like, this is another alien. I didn't know this it could be like this. I had only, at that time, 2002, I'd only seen that kind of work on VHS porn tapes. Yes. Yeah. I, and and maybe know, slightly on DVDs, which were barely hitting the market. Yeah, yeah, point. barely. You know, in yeah. my place. You thought I no civilian was capable of it. I didn't know. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought this, this could like, never happen. It's like do, watching a dude dunk at a rec game. Right. Exactly. It's so, so she's sucking my dick, and then she says, uh, she, she's pulling down her pants simultaneously. And she says, bend me over. So she turns around over the sink. So the mirror is in front of the sink. Yes. So she turns around and I say, I don't, I don't have a condom. And she goes, son, that's all right. Yeah. You know, she goes, no. That ship has sailed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would be throwing, a, you're going to be throwing salt into an empty sea. Yeah. <laughs> she, no, she turns around and she goes, that's cute. Oh. And then, yeah. And I'd also be like, um, I also don't want a disease, you yeah. fucking creature. And then this is the hottest part of it all. And this is where, this is where it got. Does she say just do the butt then? No. Oh, She's bent God. over. She's bent over. Tear. Sticks her fingers in her mouth, puts it in her pussy to wet it, opens it, grabs my dick with the other hand, and puts my dick in her pussy. One timer. Yeah, one. So I did no work. I still haven't kissed her on the mouth. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so one, one timer. She starts. Back, I'm almost thinking you're probably gonna donkey punch her in the store before you kiss her on the mouth. Yeah. Backs up into my dick probably five or six times. I see like the the her yeah. ass just like move uh, on my yeah. dick like a like a puddle like stepping in a beautiful raindrop hitting a puddle. Just, you are like the Hemingway of fuck stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, and Jay got to do a dual album. Yeah. Just called, pounding her and called I, I'm boning up soda. Very few butts I fucked had uh, raindrop feels to them. They were more like a fucking bag of batteries. No, it's not her butt. I'm in her, put, I'm in her vagina. I'm in her vagina, and I just feel the warmth of it, and it's just sliding in and out, and then I feel like. Like a, like a geyser, the semen just rush from my balls and it's ready. We are in overload. And I say, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. She grabs me by the back of my butt and holds me in and I blow it inside of her. What? Yes. So that's what? when it turned from the most amazing thing ever happened. Her son's downstairs. Downstairs to oh. pure, to pure and utter terror. Because now I'm like... Whoa! This is t is some terrible just temporary te terror. Though. It just you know it's like dust till dawn. The strippers turned into vampires. Right, temporary temporary terror. <laughs> she she's you know I'm like oh my god still coming. And she goes that was amazing. And she goes don't worry I just got a hysterectomy. Oh, and I was at that time I was 18. Ew. I was like what's that? <laughs> yeah. I hope she didn't grandma. It. I hope she didn't describe it to you. No no no. I imagine her doing like this. She just like she just fingers it out <laughs> yeah. of her. She goes nah, that ain't nothing. <laughs> and then but you know what? Even if I didn't have a hysterectomy, this probably would have done shit. Yeah. Split. <laughs> and then I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, pants <laughs> pants around my ankles, shaking, and then I just go, can I have your phone number? Really? And, yeah, and she goes, and she goes, you're so cute. Kisses me on the lips, yeah. walks out, and then... That's I've seen. How long? She finally kissed you on the lips. <laughs> yeah, finally, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's all. That's all Chris wanted. Kissed me on the lips, which it, is yeah. I just imagine, and then he came again. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine him as she walks away. He goes. Thank you. Thank you. Or, he's, or he's still kissing like a minute yeah. after she leaves um, in the air. Uh, um, uh, I think I love you. <laughs> How long did you stay in the bathroom before you went back downstairs? Well, what happened was, if she left, I turned the water back on. And just to like process like what had happened and being so young, even though I just come, yeah. I felt like I still had blue balls, even though I jizz. So I jerked off again right after because I had a second load because yeah. I'm telling you, though, it went from it was like the cum went from my balls to like the tip of my penis in like three in like T minus three seconds. So it was like there was over, like there was so much coming up, like my body yeah. didn't know what was happening because it was the most excited I'd ever been at that point. I mean, it's so probably the even, most. She didn't even give a shit about coming right, which is about getting you to blast a fucking load inside of her. That, that she probably like, I mean, she was crazy. She she wound by the way, like, and I'm not going to out the names, but she wound up. She she went on to bang five of my friends. But you were the first. I was the first. Good uh, my, for you. Uh, to my knowledge, poor kid. That poor guy, kid. Is he a professional fighter now? No, 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 it's not that kid. He's a murderer. No, no that's, do you know what's so funny? You know how New Yorker, uh, much of a New Yorker Chris is? I just jokingly was like, hey, is he the professional fighter? He goes, no, it's a different guy. 
<laughs> yeah. that's, that's a he just man. means that's the, that's the personality of a guy who's going to end up becoming a professional right. fighter because yeah. he's got well, a lot of pain in his life. Well, his this... mom just getting ragged <laughs> out right. by everyone he high fives. Not in only his that, room. but just taking it, cream pie in it. <laughs> everyone's <laughs> everyone's cr- <laughs> <laughs> that story. If he tells to a therapist, it keeps getting worse and worse. He goes, yeah, she fucks all my friends. Like, well, you know, she's a grown woman. Like, no, it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> they do it while I'm downstairs. He goes, well, look, at least you're not on the same floor. You got to try to find a bright side. No, no. And then they all blow loads deep inside her. She <laughs> actively <laughs> told me well, that. Well, so, you know, guys sometimes can't pull out. No, they all want to pull out. She holds their asses <laughs> in her pussy. Almost like she's trying. It's like when they make horses come and they hold them in that sock. Here's, here's. And that's why I dress like a woman and wear a horse tail butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, But here's how life works, right? Here's how it comes back. Is then, a year goes by, a different friend. In that same group of friends, but not this, not this friend's mom. A different friend's dad starts banging my mom. Oh. So it becomes full circle. Full circle. And you thought that was your karma? I felt, I felt I've repaid. I'm, I'm paid up now. Okay. I'm, my but that's good. That's almost an even thing. Yeah. Cause then I had to take abuse for like two years. Like, yo, what's, what's oh, you, you know, to hold on. That is funny. Isn't, isn't that weird doing. though? Like, but like, again, like no one's going like, uh, no one gives Brian shit because of his dad. Right. It's just my mom. It's like your mom. Yeah. Anytime no, the that, conversation. The, the, the double standard is, if dude, nothing else, consistent. Dude, I live. <laughs> the double standard is a consistent always. I Absolutely. live two years of my life. Anytime the conversation would be in a lull, somebody would go, yo, what do you think Brian's dad's doing? Brian's dad's doing right now. And somebody from the room would be like, banging Chris's mom. And then like, <laughs> and then, like I've said, to get held back. I tried to fist fight every single one of my friends. But you held on to the fact that you banged your friend's mom. Yeah, I never, I never ratted. And he's still, uh, even, though you, he your, even though you thought it was he your knows. Car, he knows, but he knows his fr- he knows his mom got around. He doesn't know. He doesn't care to oh, know the particulars. No. How did, do you know how he found out? I think he one of the friends like boasted about it. He was cleaning out his mom's pussy one day with yeah. the hose, yeah. and I was like, "Wait a second, yeah, I, was I, that Chris Stephano's beautiful cock out?" Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy. that beautiful circumcised dick. Why do I feel like I've seen this dick shadow before? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> There's some dick sitting here. Hey, yeah. mom, you mom, wanna get in here? Mom, down here. <laughs> yeah, I was just trailing around looking for treasure again. Uh, hey, you like my friends? Fuck you! <laughs> I just found some cum in here. And to a far worse extent, having them blow loads in you because you're aggressively making them? I hate to go all forensic scientist on you right now, but it looks like you <laughs> held them in when they were coming. <laughs> Mom, have you been working your Kegels on my friend's bones? Yeah, like a, almost like a Venus flytrap of a pussy. You just <laughs> keep them in. So you oh. fucking, how many times did you jerk off to that? It's, uh, oh, constantly. Constantly. It's still, it's, it's always there. It's, it's got to pop up once in a while still. It's some, I mean, how do you get rid we, of that? Okay, can I do a better, if we did a made for TV movie right. of your fuck experience. Who plays the mom? Who plays the mom? Thank you. Go. Cool. That's a great question. Who plays the mom? Yeah. And now do you, I want to, who plays okay, the mom now? If you, say or someone ju- from if, you the- say, if you say Judith Light. Soda's gonna come in his pants. Yeah, I'm gonna body splash you and fuck you at the same time. <laughs> Who plays the mom? Yes, and it could be any actress. If he says on who's the boss, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you and and I'm guessing for you, we cast you as young Tony Danza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Angela. Let's, just, let's just make this whole thing of who's the boss. Yo, then. Danny's right downstairs. Yeah. yeah. I can't do this. Samantha's room's right next door. Stop, Stop holding my ass in you. Ah, you crazy broad. <laughs> um, it could be any actress at any age. Any actress at any age from any time period. What does she look like? When you think of her, what do you, who do you think of? Blonde hair. How much is Phil? Get so wound up. Okay, who plays the actress? Who who does she look like? Who, what actress plays? Here's who plays her. The but she has to dye her hair. Okay. Here who's here's. I'm who gonna pl- throw my phone if she's smoking hot. She is smoking hot because it's it's just like. But you said burrow trash. I'm picking hot and like that. Yes. Remember that girl that uh, what's it? Taryn Manning, the girl that Eminem. Yes. Like his girlfriend. Here's who Ma- plays. I have it right now. Here's a Brittany Murphy her. type. No, nope. that's burrow here's garbage. Who plays to me. Her. You ready? Mm-hmm. This is exactly who plays this woman, Tara Reid. Oh, okay. That's who plays her. Good for you. She's just dyed her hair. I thought you said she was blonde. Uh, yeah, because I was gonna, because I was gonna say Jennifer Love Hewitt if she had blonde hair. But really? It's, but I, it's she is she's more trashy. Oh, Tara Reid. Yeah. Tara Reid, or or you know who could play her actually? You know, you know Isn't who now could play her? You mean like Ibiza fucking black dick gangbang he, Tara Reid? I'm sure. talking about Tara Reid from um, American, American Pie. American Pie. Yeah. But you know who can? Uh, you know who, she, who who facially she looks like? Is that oh. actress now Blake Lively? I mean, what? Yeah, oh, she's wow. gorgeous. She, dude, I'm telling you, she was. She had that blonde, flowing hair, but she was ch- like trashy. 
Yeah, wow. but dude, I mean, I think like I think like you're trying to say she was trashing just the way she dressed. Or maybe the fact that or she maybe just, the fact that she fucking <laughs> held his ass into her while she came while her son was downstairs. I mean, I feel like you guys are just l l missing the point that a woman—that's a strong, independent woman. We by the found way, the I, break. We found the the break. By the way, where you're like me and uh, Chris are like you. You guys are lovable, like you know, pieces of shit, yeah. like debaucherous, which I get totally. But this is your your your. You feel no weirdness in this. You're like, I love that story. I Everything about that is great. Why am I weird? <laughs> but, uh, the same way you think I'm weird because I'll watch a girl shit a dildo. Yeah, that's completely different things. <laughs> yeah, in your world. Lou, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we got to take one more break? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to take, take a one break. break. We'll be right back. We're... Chris Stefano on the bonfire. Yeah, all that. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, Marilyn Manson Monday on the bonfire. Fucking A it is. It's been a fun one, man. Holy shit. Just great day at radio, I mean, Jay. tales of ribaldry from Chris to Steph. I mean, coming in just dropping erotic ribaldry. stories. Boom. Ribaldry. Then <laughs> she came upon. Bathroom. Welcome back to Busting Nuts, Christmas. <laughs> the first ropes, ropes inside your mom in a latrine. <laughs> ah, while you and your friends gander at magazines, Christopher's upstairs, <laughs> deep inside of your mother's womb. <laughs> in a way that only a strange man, not a regular Just man. really digging out her donut hole. Just watching While her, you and your friends. Watching her rear splash against your thighs. <laughs> Like a gentle wave of eroticism. <laughs> Trying to pull himself out, only to be held to fill her cavernous vagina with his young. Was there anything, Chris, about her that <laughs> 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 Strong thrusts. <laughs> he bounded across the room, filling it. Was there any tight hips? <laughs> His leather gloves ripping down her side. Her uh, bustier spilling over. Pure sweaty roses. Just when he thought he couldn't get any deeper, two more chambers opened inside of her. Hearing her cries of passion. <laughs> uh, uh, Scotty and his friends were downstairs uh, making sandwiches, <laughs> playing marbles and other parlor games. <laughs> Christopher upstairs, <laughs> becoming more than a man. The guilt that overcome me as I smelled the sandwich—it was my favorite. Ah, uh, prosciutto and a supersod. Uh, <laughs> but I had different. Th <laughs> but I didn't know I was making cheese up in the bathroom. And the sandwich I was making was much more <laughs> carnal, biblical. <laughs> uh, Are you for the baloney? <laughs> was there anything about? Her, was there anything out on, on her? They even give you that slightest feel of yeah. like a, do like, oh, a dossier. No, but like like this is like an older chick. Do you know what I mean? Like, was there anything that made you feel like that? Like, you know, her like her asshole was brown or something like that? Like, <laughs> a beaten up asshole, maybe? I like, like that you're st you're trying to study her buttholes like a scientist that studies the rings on a tree. Yes, like, yes. Anything... How many were? Did you get a chance to count them for me? Oh, for butthole rings. Um, what is she? Do you know what I mean? Like, 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 like the hang of her tits at some point. <laughs> nothing. Well. The, the skin when she turned maybe was a little looser. It seemed. It, I mean, the sex was over in th five, ten pumps right. at the most. But the blowjob, I was able to to you know like, watch in. her a little bit, look at her, and she. Um, one of the things that I remember I noticed about her was she was one of those broads that had her makeup tattooed on. Oh, so oh. so that's different than the girls that I was used to, the teenagers that sure, I was banging. Sure, sure, sure. Makeup she, tattooed I she, on. I didn't realize she was a 70-year-old Dominican. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll give you different views of her. Her name was Julissa. Hey, did she read your palm after you came? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thinner. Yeah, yeah. So she gave me a fucking Malta. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah a beautiful cock. Speaking of Dominican, there, there actually was a, a bunch of Dominican prostitutes in one of the bodegas in my neighborhood off Myrtle Avenue. Myrtle cool. Avenue, like Were they hot? Street. Yeah, one of my from, one of my boys used to bang them constantly. I, I never got it. <laughs> Trading off on yeah, them? He, yeah, he probably banged my friend's mom, too. I don't know. <laughs> this guy sounds like a, right, a he, raging sex addict. No, nah, he's like one of those Irish kids. Like, he's, he's you know, pure Irish-American. He's a firefighter now. He had, like, his first tattoo at, like, 13. Yeah. And just, like, these women, these older fucking white women, she's like, yeah, that's who I want. 
Oh, he's a yeah. little stud muffin. Kieran. Oh, what an Irish name. Irish a name. Stud muffin. Was the Kieran. was the was the lady you fucked mom or was that was her? her <laughs> I banged her was mom. She available? Did you go up the ladder? <laughs> no. Was the son? Was the son like? Could you justify like he was an asshole at all or something? No, or? he was a great kid. Oh. <laughs> and really gracious. Here's another ad on to for me. I'll tell you this right now. You know where he is right now? Doctors Without Borders. <laughs> 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 Good dude. Give him back. And then, and then like a year or two later, I never had sex, but I made out with her daughter. No. Yeah, so I never wow. had to, I, I never really counted no. it because I, ne I never banged the mother daughter. I won't sit up here and lie to you, but I made out with the daughter. Oh, wow. So, and I saw great. the daughter naked. What? And my friend banged the actually, and my friend banged the daughter and has pictures had pictures of it back Jesus, in the day. This Did this you guy's compare it to her mom? Yeah, this guy really is gonna be melting Dude, down. Dude, I, I, I grew I up with fucking degenerate. Like my friends are degenerate dirtbags. Like they got point systems with girls. Like it's just complete scum, trash. Up there, objectify. They're all firemen, cops, garbage. Are you men. not friends with them anymore? Oh no, yeah, they're all my boys. They come out, they hang out. They're, oh, you when I did uh when I did the um the uh the the you, haven't you met Pat Finnegan? Damn. Yeah, yeah. You, so it's that kind of crew. Those yeah, yeah, guys those are just guys. debaucherous. Like I went to did the Comedy Central um half hour in Boston a couple of years ago. They all came up. They're ripping each other's shirts off. They like were bumping into Comedy Central best brass, best, best starting it's, fights. I'm like, what do you do? It's my career. But it is like it's. But they're loyal dogs to you. Loyal dogs is shit. Like anything they see on Twitter, like if I retweet like a hate tweet, they fucking go out. They got 13 followers, but they go out to one yeah. and you fucking bring it to Mass Bit Queens, bitch. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm down a ladder 119. Yeah. Why did you bring it to local three headquarters? Unfortunately for you, I got the next three days off, but, but I, then I got to work three days. I weirdly, I weirdly kind of get that guy. Yeah. Like, because they're working stiffs, all yeah. of them, right? So that's what it is. Like, they look forward to very little in life, but they, yeah. with the things they look forward to, they really look forward to. I, for some reason, connect to those guys. Like, yeah. I, like, and, and, you know, they're good guys, and, like, you know, like, they're very loyal friends. Like, anything I do is, like, the greatest thing that's ever happened for them. Like, yo, am I a fucking boy? But the oh, guy, see, that's good. That they, like, a they lot of times, a lot of times, those friends though will get like the who the fucking guy thinks he's better. Than no, yeah, no, no, no. but that, but the guy you whose mom you banged wasn't right. one of those friends. No, he wasn't one. Of, but he's a good dude. But he, but he yeah, yeah, he's like that. But he just, you know, I mean, he, you were with her, but everybody fucked his mom. Yeah. But the divorce, she still, went through I'm a divorce. Still to her. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she went through a divorce, and you know, I caught her at the right time. And then I think once I, I think I opened up the floodgates. Then I think that everybody else. Well, I'll tell you life. this, and I'm put, I'm gonna play it from her angle. Well, that dam was holding back a big puddle of your jizz. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna play this from the other side. But I think what happens is she she sees your beautiful young cock, uh -huh. and she thinks, and it is beautiful. Make no mistake. I mean, yeah. we've, we've it's been proven medicinally. Yeah, I, think I, saw, I think I saw a picture. I was impressed. Yeah, but now she thinks there's a whole crop of beautiful young dick out mm -hmm. there. So she's just oh, she's looking for going the, fucking, the garden. Yeah. she's looking for the foot that fits her fucking yeah. beat up glass slipper it puss. Was yeah. your beautiful young dick. That and of was. course, I told my friend, not him. You know, I told yeah. all my friends, and then they started fucking lining up to take their at bats. They were yeah. like, "All right, I'm." Gonna, next thing you know, every time I hang out the house, everyone's got on cologne, fucking yeah. hair slip. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, man? Uh, funny, funny thing about me, you know what we just learned in school the other week is how to keep secrets. Oh, shit, Chris, I almost forgot. You got any Dracar on your Fiero? Yeah. Ah, bro, I want to smell good for her, though. Kids were, like, leaving their bikes, like, at the corner and just, yeah. like, walking up, like, yeah, you get a fucking car. Fuck yeah, you look older. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you got a cigarette I can bum. I just started smoking. You're 13. I know. Yes. <laughs> To answer your first question, ma'am, these are Cavaricis. I, <laughs> I, I just want to know: Do you want me to leave them on the floor or on the bed? I can fold them and put them on your on your on your armoire. I like the thought of him being like, uh, "The voices can be rough on everybody." <laughs> Sixteen year old, really laying it on. Goes, hey, you know, we go through a hard time. We need somebody to speak to. Hey, Sometimes uh, you can miss the presence of a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Johnny, you have a lunchbox. Yeah. I'm gonna take you out for a lasagna. So good. Then a man go. Well, yeah, I got a <laughs> pasta fajoule that's going to blow your fucking I'll make you. Mind. My mother makes her own regard. I'm going to bring it over. You, you ever see. been banged on a Yankee uh, comforter? <laughs> we are, uh, we're running out of time, so I want to make sure we get to this phone call. And Chris, yeah. please hang out with us yeah. for this one. This is a hell of a story here. Jason in Oklahoma. Hello! Yeah. Oh, hey, did you miss his doubtfire us? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up, Jason? Hey, buddy. Oh, so yeah, I got you. I got you a story for you. <laughs> dude, dude it just sounded like the way it just sounded like it's like you just ripped a line of coke, yeah. and then you're like, "Yeah, I got a story for you." Buckle on your, di <laughs> buckle on your dick, motherfuckers! Because it's story time. Get oh, around. Are you guys ready to make a blood itch? All right, let's not do this. This is how we pissed off the other guy, right. Brad. Good, Jason. I'm, we love no, you, dude. We're no, 
We're good, man. We're good. I was going to say, like, uh, afterwards, it's going to be like, top that bitches, and Mike drop my phone. So, <laughs> <laughs> But no, um, so I will just say, for all intents and purposes, we'll call my buddy Mike, right? I've known this dude since I was five years old. Oh. Like mm. best friend, that's the exact like number. The exact number that Soder said. It's not, yeah. it's not like you knew him since you were five years old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so like literally, this is gonna sound like bullshit because it's like the exact fucking opposite of fucking Chris's story, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> so it, it's fucking weird. But anyway, I've known I've known this dude since five, like all the way through fucking high school, right? Uh, after high school, we went to the Marines together. Oh, like, oh God, God damn. Together. He saved my life six times. Not, <laughs> he took a bullet for me. No, he did. He actually, he's, oh, he's actually geez. taking a bullet for me. Yeah, oh. dude, he's like, he, he's my, dude, we'll put it this way. Like, we're like joined at the hip best friends. Not uh, the point of, like yeah. fuck buddies, but like, you know, we're, you know, good. You know, he's like, my, he's my brother, you know. So anyway, in 2000, we went enrolled in, two, we, we enlisted in 2004. In 2010, I got medically discharged with a torn ACL on a separate kneecap. So I came back, you know, I came back to the state. So he stayed over, right? A year later, he was involved in an IED and tragically, you know, he ended up taking his life. It ended up taking his life on the operating table. Uh, so, so like, sorry, uh, buddy. No, you know, it's, you know, it's still, it's still, well, you know, gut wrenching <laughs> shit, but I, <laughs> I know he's looking down at me right now like you motherfucker like I literally mean, but anyway I don't know how to feel yet I'm yeah. still navigating my own feelings like sorry buddy but also fuck yeah. you yeah. you see yeah, me I, 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 just cause I just cause I kinda know where this call's going <sighs> Not me, Jason. I got your back 110%. <laughs> I bet you only make great decisions. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, so like I found out by a co I was working as a mechanic and I found out by another coworker who knew the family. He's like, "Hey, did you hear about?" So and I said, "No." And he told me, and I, you know, like right then, I ran to my boss. I told him, "Man, I got to take some time off. I got to go visit his mom." I, again, I've known this lady since you know I was five. You know, she's like a second mom to me. So I ran, you know, I, I left, I left work straight there. I went to the house. I stayed with her a couple of days to get everything ready for the funeral and all stuff like that. No, no issues, you know, at that point. And then, you know, we had the funeral, and like three days after the funeral, I'm at work. I get a phone call from her, right? And she's like, "Hey, you want to go? Ta it's like you want to go have dinner." And again, I've known this lady since five, so it's not, you know, a date, it's dinner. You know, like, this, to the point where this lady has disciplined me before, you know? Yes, yeah, so yeah. Like, you know, yeah, and that's direction from it, either way. Um, like, she's but, made you she's made you do <laughs> chores at her house before. Exactly, exactly. Oh, so, boy. you know, like, yeah, so, again, second mom. Anyway, so I'm like, yeah, no problem. So I'll leave work, I, you know, I, I'll, come over to, I'll come over to your house, I, you know, I got to close this truck, I'll jump in the shower, we'll go in there, so... I got, I get off work, I go to the house, take a shower, get dressed, and we both jump in the truck and we head over to this, you know, like some little mom and pop seafood restaurant, you know, like a bar and seafood thing. Bad combination, but good food. Um, like, as soon as she gets there, she starts slamming like highballs. Like, like, Hold five. on, hey, hey, uh, if you can hear us, Jason, Jason, you're getting choppy. Yeah, you're kind of breaking up and the story's getting amazing. So hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it sounds like you're calling through water, like you're underwater, like oh, Aquaman. Huh? Can you hear me now? This is the ghost of your friend fucking with you right now. Yeah. By, the way. <laughs> by the way, this guy's the, the way hockey players slide in front of shots. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this, is, this yeah. is your brother. This is your friend not wanting Please to be God, on the air. Don't tell this story to the world. Oh, yeah, this guy's just fucking the way they break up a kickoff return. He's just <laughs> yeah. jamming in there. Chasing you there? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, because again, I've never, like, I, this story has never came out, so that's probably what the fuck it is. But, um,. So yeah, like as soon as she, as soon as we get there, she starts slamming highballs like five back to back, and like saving the cherries for the margaritas. Like, oh, like you know, she got shit yeah, she's face, drinking like right? Hunter S. Thompson, dude. Yeah, like crazy. She got shit faced, and like by the end of the night, she was I mean hammered. And I told her, I was like, all right, we're, I'm taking you to the house. So, I, you know, we get I get her in the truck, I get her back to the house, like I get her back, you know, I get her back in her bed and shit, and I'm getting ready to leave. Then I realized, like, she just went through a bad, like, bad divorce, you know, like, with, you know, shit marriage of, like, 18 years, like, crazy shit. She's just lost her, you know, just lost her son, and she's shit-faced. I was like, I'm not fucking leaving, you know, just making sure she don't do anything fucking stupid, right? Okay. So, I, I go, I go in the back guest room and pass out. So, you know, no issues. Next thing I know, like, 1.30 in the morning, like, I feel like someone crawling in the fucking bed with me. No. I wake up, and it's her, and she's sitting in my fucking lap. 
Oh, like no. straight. I mean, I mean, uh, and I'm inside. I'm like, what the? Fuck? Wait, you woke up inside of her? I woke up inside of her, like literally in fucking inside of her. Dude, that's like, like uh, remember that porno movie Taboo with Kay Parker? Like that, she pulls that move. But this guy lived it. No, <laughs> I didn't know it's Taboo with Kay Parker. Uh, the old porno. <laughs> yeah, it's like from the seventies. Yeah, yeah. Off to it. We all jacked off to it. Um, were you okay with this when you saw it? Were you like, what the fuck? Did you flip out? Did you give one pump to decide? <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, what should have went through my mind is like, you know, oh, shit, this is my friend's mom. You know, like, pull her off and, you know, like, discipline her like a bad dog, you know. But yeah, Semper Fi, do or die. Hoorah! Hoorah! But me being a guy, I'm like, oh, I'm getting ready to get fucked, you know, so... We end up, you know, we end up doing it, you know, and whatever. So, like, I pass out, you know, I, I you know, I blow my load on her fucking tits. I oh, pass out or whatever. Geez. Anyway, um, pass out. I wake up next morning and like I roll over and like she's still, she's like still laying in bed. And then I'm like, fuck. So I start doing that, like you know, try and sneak out of bed move. You wait, know, Jason, Jason, wait. Out. Did you? Did she have like that milk mustache, a dry jizz across her tits still? <laughs> where she? Where she? She's sleep itching. She's like <laughs> she's scratching. <laughs> Looks like dandruff. <laughs> yeah, she's like. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but like what? The, like the word? Like the weirdest part about this whole thing was. Um. After I woke up, she woke up, and like you know, like when. At that situation, you're expecting to see the face like, oh, fuck, what have I just done, right? You know, on her, you know, expression on her face. But what I'm looking at is like, mm, we fucked and I'm strangely okay with it. So I mean, that's I'm the like, best face you want to get. Yeah. I'm, and I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm, the only thing that can come out of my mouth right now is like, ah, okay. So <laughs> with all that said and done, we ended up, we ended up fucking two more times after okay. that. Okay. Oh. All right. You know what? The damage is done, dude. <laughs> The damage is done. It. Yeah, I, fuck it now. And you know what? And you I might as well... Thing. Yeah, and then now it's like a seedy, cool thing where, hey, man, you know, you know what? Oddly enough, right. you've turned me around on the story. I was like completely... I'm going to make you breakfast. You bring your mother over a plate. Ask yeah. if she's coming over to play cards after. Yeah. yeah. Uh, d d call your mother, see if she wants to have a little game of canasta this afternoon. <laughs> also, let her know I'm going to have a little baby boobies come all over my tits. <laughs> <laughs> Ask you if afterwards she wants to walk around the schoolyard with me three times. It's a mile. I measured it out. <laughs> Jason. I'm going to hell. No, no, I'm, I'm, just taking res I'm, I'm just taking reservations on who's going with me. So, dude, nah, you know what? Dude, Jason, I think you're Jason, a good dude. I think you might be going to hell. But here's the good news: you'll be able to fuck that guy's mom there. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a two <laughs> ticket ride. That's a two for, buddy. That's a two for two uh, tango. Yeah. Jason, thank you so much for that call. Dude. That was an awesome story. That was, and, th and thanks right. for your thanks for your service, dude. No, yeah, not a problem, man. Not a problem. Just doing my job. But I was saying before I go, you guys are fucking awesome. I love I love you guys. Straight homo. And, yeah, like, thanks. I want to your butt. Oh, so. uh, you're the best. You're breaking Thank up you, brother, man. We love you, Jason. Jason, call back again soon, dude. Chris DiStefano, you are a fucking awesome storyteller, a you great man. Beast. Thank you. And you have a beautiful cock. Appreciate it. At Chris DiStefano on Twitter. At Chris D Comedy, actually. That's what it is. At Chris yeah, D Comedy yeah. everywhere. I wouldn't have presumed that would have been like, <laughs> give me your thing, buddy. At thanks Big for J having me. At Big J Okerson on Twitter. Punchline, San Francisco. Punchline. San Francisco, this weekend, one of the best Thursday, clubs. Friday, Saturday. One of the best comedians and one of the best clubs. That's a fucking great place. And uh, at Dan Soder on Twitter, we will see you uh, next, no, Com New York Comedy Festival. Hip, uh, oop. We yes. got a new, new but not live on Wednesday and the New York Comedy Festival on Monday. Word up. Bye.